Hey everybody, this is Cider Akame again. Welcome back to Crusader Kings 2 multiplayer with some friends. Let's get back into this. Hey everybody. Or a biologist trying to tell a philosopher they're philosophizing wrong. I know, right? The nerve. Oh yeah, the philosophy is the whole it's a whole quagmire right there. You wanna get into that? Oh god, let, I've told you the story of Dreesh, right? The Dreesh, so. Dreesh left biology for, and and became a paranormal philosopher to the great detriment of both fields. <laughs> you have like your like my stream open, Steve? No. Okay, because I can hear an echo from somebody. I'm not hearing one. I have my headphones on, so I'm not sure. The echo is not coming from my. It might be something more. Cause I'm not. Yeah, I'm not picking an echo. I'm not. I don't have the stream open. And even if I did, you wouldn't be able to hear it because it's in the headphones on. So I'm not sure where the echo is coming from. Yeah, I'm not getting an echo. That being either, said, I am gonna pull up the stream. Hold on a second. And it's like I can't see anywhere else where my. Hold on. I'm gonna meet you guys in turn and see if it's in either of you. Okay. Let me know when to start talking. Yeah, but Steve, Dreesh is the guy. It's essentially what allows for identical twins to exist. It's the. Right. It's. Philosophy. <laughs> Paranormal philosophy, and he set both <laughs> fields back. But it's like essentially the how conditional specificity works is that each each cell in an embryo's fate is predetermined, but they aren't locked. Like if there is a disruptive event early enough in development, and cells get shifted around by essentially talking to each other, they can work out what they need to do to fix it. So a cell that normal, that normally would have become a mouth could potentially become a leg and stuff like that. Now this is only- And that's how D&D monsters very, are made. Yes. But this is only a thing very <laughs> early in development. Like, there is a certain point where no force on Earth can rewrite a cell's fate. But Dreesh is the guy who discovered it. He was working with sea urchin embryos at the first couple divisions in cleavage. So like the first like three times a cell splits. So at that point, they are de conditional specificity is definitely a thing. And it fr this freaked him out so much that he quit science altogether. And immediately it started researching paranormal activity. Yes, he basically became a ghostbuster. That's that's somewhat awesome in a way. <laughs> like if you read his paper on it, he actually appeal he actually pretty much says it's magic. But just off the top of my head, that's like the that's the biggest case of a biologist fucking over somebody else's discipline that I can think of. That's pretty cool. That's important. Uh, so one of uh, John's, we have on, on the stream, somebody asked what's been going on in the game. So I'm going to try to give a quick summary. Um, yeah, let's you guys get in this. Can, uh, basically, if I remember correctly, I was falling asleep at the end of the live stream. So I might not be, but we have the Western Protectorate coming in from the east. The China, they invaded our lands with like 100,000 troops, something we can never fight off 
150,000. Uh, so, so they now have control of a very small, small section. But still, probably pretty dangerous. Uh, our expansion to the east has not, uh, not the east, the west has not changed too much. We are bordering Kazaria, which is very large. And which has expanded into most of Eastern Europe. Central Europe. Central Europe, yeah. Basically. Yeah, it's getting really close. It's like right on Germany's doorstep. Yeah. Uh, to the south, we've expanded a little bit, but we've been mainly mainly dealing with a number of eternal rebellions, many of which were completely avoidable. And <laughs> quite our own fault. So you didn't look at the message before clicking on it. And I think in Chris's case, Chris, you you joined a rebellion completely by accident without, I think, even a prop by it, right? Or yeah, was the, it just the John was we John was putting through a request to take one of my things, except he didn't tell me he was doing it beforehand. And there were so many internal things going on I didn't see it. So I never answered it. And if you don't answer a prompt, the default response is auto-reject. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, my, my rebellion happened when the... Yeah, so it was pretty much entirely I... my fault, but it was mostly just a communication failure. Yeah, no, it's same with same with mine, where basically I was answering a completely irrelevant prompt when <laughs> the, do you want to rebel? Prompt pops up, and I clicked on that one by accident. So, yeah, we gotta we gotta be a little bit more careful about what what prompts or ignore. Mm -hmm. Because yeah, those definitely those those useless rebellions <laughs> took up I think the entirety of last session. Yeah, pretty and much. That quite a bit. And it slowed down my elephantization of my horde. Or the hordeization of elephants. Yeah. Which if we want if we if we have any hope of dealing with the Western Protectorate, uh, we need those elephants. Yeah, we're gonna really need them. Let me see. However, right now they only have eighty troops. So maybe both need the elephants, or like just like two or three. No, I, I'm pretty sure they can call in dudes. Yeah, oh, like they just they? instant spawn. Okay, so we're gonna want to yeah, avoid. Them. In, yeah, they can call in the Imperial Army. It's you want to essentially, if you can, you want to beat them before they can do that, because I believe he doesn't call in the Imperial Army unless he gets into trouble. But in this case. I think sieging one province would signal to him that he's in trouble since he only has three. All right, here's the yeah. player map mode. So we actually started this campaign before the uh, J Dragon. Yeah, the J DLC. Dragon DLC yeah. came out. So Tibet wasn't here before. And so Chris being, he had like all of that kind of got this big chunk when the, when we, got the DLC. Yeah, and I gave a bunch of it to Steve to make everyone's lives easier. And just to be... Uh, just to explain things, uh, PDF Rafferty is my... Rafferty? Not Rafferty. Rafferty is myself, and Chris is Rico D53. Then obviously, John is Cyrock on Michael. All right, so I would really like to be able to attack the Sada kids this time. Cause, uh, Chris, you're going to be taking the rest of Kabulistan. Yeah. Is Trans Oceana mine that we agreed on? I believe we did. I can provide some uh, troop support for... Uh, My elephants are in position Sada to take kids. on the Sada kids. I was going to do that. So... We should probably declare our wars at the same time, John. Okay. I'll declare like an invasion of 
uh, what is that, Sind? And you like declare an invasion of Sistan, and then we'll just siege the provinces that should be ours, and that'll be that. Okay. Yeah, just call me into the war, and I'll send some troops down to help out. I'll try to take care of their smaller armies, since I have about 5,000 troops, I think, in total. Um, all right, you t you're taking Kabulistan, I'm taking uh, Transoceana, and uh, in that war, it's however many provinces we occupy, we take? Yeah, it's anything we occupy, we take, we take directly anything we occupy. We take, we vassalize anything in the war goal that we are not occupying. That's why I said we should declare the wars at the same time. Yeah. So that way, I will, in my war, I will siege down every province in Sindh and Kabulistan and just sit there, and you'll siege down pretty much everything else. Hold on, you're taking... Hold on a second. I mean, do you uh, want Sindh? Uh, taking... Yeah, it's... I already have most of it. I mean, do you want Sindh? No, I mean, I've got most of Sindh. Oh no, Sistan. You uh, you have sin. Oh, sin. Yeah, I got confused there. S words. <laughs> yeah, and then once I siege down my stuff, I'll move my elephants into a position where I can back you up if they start marching on you. Mhm. Mm but I won't siege anything else until your war is done. Because then we have to deal with the revoking stuff and that gives us the opportunity to to screw it up again and have me accidentally revolt and that was not fun yeah so i have a question about the advisor rule does it really other than being a place to put powerful vassals who you don't want to be in control of anything important does it have any effect on your government policies they can vote Oh, they can vote. Okay, that, yeah, that's right. Okay, so, uh, Steve... He's gonna... I'll be hitting with the invasion. Uh, I'm not looking to expand right now. I mean, I am, but I don't really have a very good ability to do so until we can make a united front against Kazaria. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to be basically helping you guys with Sadikid, and then at some point, I think we're going to need all three of us to take on this area. But that's going to be my next area of expansion. Yeah, right, I'm, almost, I'm almost at a point where I could definitely help. Actually, I probably yeah. can help now. I think I have enough elephants to counter anything they throw. Yeah, we could do that. I, I'd rather we all focus our efforts on the Sadikids at first. Because we're more prepared to do that. And then start working on the strategy to take East area. Thank you for the host. Glad to have you guys here. Um Alright, so I wanna get you guys in my council. Just make sure you call me into the war. No, I don't think you are. I think my dude just came to power. Oh. I'll just fire these advisors. You died last time, right? Yeah, that's... yeah. Maybe fire the dude who's calling in a favor. Yeah, I mean, he's an advisor. The, uh... Fire counselor. pretty decent marshal skill. Right, what's your marshal? 19. Okay, I would definitely prefer... Uh, I've got a... All right, you hate me. That's why I was looking at it. Uh, oh, sure. I'm a, I'm a siege leader. Don't put me in that position. Yeah. Go if you're that. gonna put me in a position, put me in an advisor slot because we yeah, need me on the battlefield. That's what I'm gonna do. What are you good at, Steve? Well, you're please. not good at anything. You're an advisor. Oh, my character is no longer good at anything. He used to be really good at combat. What happened? When I switched to war. Alright, and if you oh, could both Steve. be loyal. Wow, I don't even have a focus selected. That's pretty interesting. 
But that'll throw up my combat skill a little bit. Steve, here's not. something I was thinking about that you might want to consider. I'm dull. When did that, when did that happen? Have I always been dull? I don't <laughs> think so. Maybe you had a lab accident. <laughs> it took your brain and your nuts. Zero eunuch. I'm a eunuch? Yep. <laughs> Holy shit, when did that happen? <laughs> <laughs> wasn't a well, you're before. content with your lot. Yeah. Did I die? I only have died in this game. Oh, you have. I have? Yeah, I'm no, sure. I don't think so. Dude, it's oh. been like a hundred years. Oh, I guess it has. I guess it has. Been I'm, like, here. 150 at well, least. This guy's been in power for 23 years, though. Yeah, I've been in power for a while. Yeah. I'm then just like kind of confused. Like I don't remember becoming a eunuch or doll. Oh, I do. I do. Your oh, doctor. Oh, 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 my doctor is right. He caught my. Don't ball. you hate it when you, you just wake up and your testicles are gone? That's right. I forgot about that. Holy shit. My doctor. Ah, fucking bastard. Okay, but yeah, Steve. Here's something you might want to consider. So. Being Manichaean because the game's so corrupted, at this point doesn't really give much benefits. So you I'm might want to consider you might want to consider changing your religion. And the thing that you might want to consider changing to is Swamensko, which is Finnic paganism. Well, I mean he's Shia. <laughs> he's like a hipster. No, he's not. Oh, he used to be Shia. Like his... But to get the defensive bonuses, because... Because how do the, I, how do I the even Khazars are su paganism. Well, it's, you've got some Sumensko land, so you might be able to get some Sumensko courtiers. Yeah, you have a Sumensko vassal. Yeah, I see one. Yeah. So if you can get, like, you can get a wife or concubine from her, you can convert to that religion. I am and... a eunuch member. Oh, yeah. Well, your next guy. Okay, yeah, because this guy, I don't think he's going to be able to do that. Because here's the thing. <laughs> here's the thing with Swamensko. It's, it's a defensive pagan, pagan religion. So what that means is that Everybody who enters your land who is not Su sorry, Sumensko or Tengri suffers massive attrition. Alright, I'm gonna start the game. And the previous, on top previously of that, on our stream our ball my ball was off. Yeah. That's a part that it's an important note. So you get defensive massive defensive attrition. And as an added bonus, you get an 80% combat bonus to every unit you have if you are fighting in land that is Shumensko. So, since okay. the Kazars yeah. have... Whatever. I don't know. I have no idea how it's pronounced. I don't know anything about Finno-Ugric languages. I don't speak Finnish. No one does. But since the... Yeah, the Khazars are, are Sunni, meaning they are not protected from pagan defensive attrition. Okay, yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna work to do that as soon as my guy dies. I have a feeling he's gonna live a really long time, but <laughs> I just have a feeling it's gonna happen. Now that I'm tall and a eunuch, that definitely. I don't know how I got tall. I wasn't tall originally. I, at least I don't think so. Maybe the doctor did that too. <laughs> snip, snip, snip. <laughs> he snipped a lot of things. He said, yeah, here, over here, and then he, you know, <laughs> threw him in the trash. You wake up and your arm is gone. Well, there was that one guy, the doctor cut off your head once, right? <laughs> that, did yeah, that happen? You got oh, injured, you got maimed, so you had a mask. Oh. No, no, this was a character in when we were doing the when we were doing Amalfi. Yeah, Amalfi, yeah. yeah. 
I got food poisoning, so my doctor removed my jaw. <laughs> no, you won't get food poisoning anymore. It's true. Okay. Yeah, that character did not survive the month. Yeah, your doctor. That was how I learned. Just because the doctor thinks it's a good idea, doesn't listen to. Him. All right. Uh, tell me when you guys are in position. Like, oh, hold on. Let me see if I can. Do I? Can I call you into the war, Steve? Let's see. Do, do we have Steve, a marriage? I believe Steve. I believe Steve can request to join. Can you? All right. Can I? Uh, let me see. Oh, I mean, the war hasn't started yet. Oh. <laughs> hey, can I join the war? What, what war? What war? <laughs> it's a complete opposite okay, of the other it. things. There, it's like we demand you sign this paper. Oh, okay. <laughs> Signs it. What's it for? <laughs> Declaring rebellion. Oh no! <laughs> oh, he is. He is dull. Keep that in mind. I have to role play a little bit. Okay, John, currently the way I have my elephants spread out, I am sitting on all heretic land. So, I think we want to wait until everything's burned. You still burning things? Alright. Yeah, yeah, okay. still burning things. Alright, I just oh, got a uh, bunch finished. Yeah, not yet. It'll give you time to work on your horse. Yeah, I might do that. Alright, yeah, I, I see these burning here. Right a couple of them just got finished a second ago. My mother-in-law died yeah, of cancer. There's more, stuff, there's more stuff in those counties, though, so... Yeah. I'm, uh, the northern one is is free. Prov 1464. One in Kashmir. Yeah, and so on and so forth. Hmm. Yeah, Steve, like, the main reason I switched to Zunism is because of the defense of attrition against the Sadakids. Should do heavy vanguard is what I want to kind of focus on, right? Very likely. Unless you can get camels, which I don't think you have any desert. I have no camels. So. What would the benefit of becoming Catholic be? Uh, it would probably be uh, bad. Like, I don't get my invasion. No, nomad invasion doesn't factor in religion. Okay. I thought that was a bad thing that becoming Christian does it for usually, you. It usually... No, that's for tribe, the tribal invasion. Okay. Passes belly, which everyone who isn't a Muslim or a nomad has. All right. Muslims have Muslim invasion and nomad has nomad invasion. Nomad invasion, for all intents and purposes, is identical to tribal invasion. Except that I don't believe it factors in the Christian thing. Because a, uh, a Catholic dude just showed up at my court, and I was thinking, oh, well, his daughter is, is uh, syphilis, so... <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> she's one year old. She's a one-year-old that has syphilis. Her brother doesn't I... have syphilis. I don't want to think about the implications I that. don't either. Yeah, that's pretty rough. Um, yeah, I don't know. I've, part of me says just execute this guy. I mean, he's got good like, marshal. He would be my best, my best dude, other than this guy that hates me. I mean, everyone hates me. Well, I mean, the guy that has 30 marshal, I could just give a little gift. All right, he no longer hates me. That's good enough. Thirty marshals, Aaron excellent. Spalblog? What? Aaron, Aaron Spalblog. He's I'm looking at your stream, so I see his face. He has a nice, like, uh, you know, helmet on. Oh, who we'll the wolf? Yeah, John. So the tribal invasion is usually restricted to Tengri's. And now an Aztec pagan. Mm -hmm. So since 
we can all use the invasion cast as belly and none of us are those two things. I don't believe it factors in religion. All right. Uh, if you want to, if you want to check that before, can I won't blame. I wouldn't blame you because I'm not entirely sure. I'm trying to think. I mean, would becoming Catholic it'd give me crusades, but that's not really any yeah. better than like my kingdom wars. I mean, I could. I that would call in the other Catholics though too. Yeah, and the thing is that it doesn't require a population. Thing. Yeah. No. So, better would. Honestly, probably be becoming Muslim and then the Caliph, mm -hmm. or becoming Norse and then the Filker. Yeah, because then you can decide where the Crusade is called. Yeah, I don't know. I'm pretty all right with being men. Oh, I died. The Dad of the Great Pox. We shall stay loyal. Please do, Steve. Yeah, no, stay, stay loyal. Stay loyal. I didn't know a bunch of pops in that room when you died. We're being collaborative, in case died. it wasn't already pretty obvious. Uh... I'm kind of disappointed that you died, not me. <laughs> but... Actually, who's my heir? Let me find that out. Oh, he's not that great. Alright, and if you no, guys could become loyal, loyal, I'd appreciate it. Soldier. Oh, am I not loyal anymore? Neither of you are. Oh, oh guess who's... Status of women. Guess who's Orthodox again? Who? You? The Byzantines. Oh, oh I guess it's not still well. independent. They're not doing too well, the Byzantines. No, no, they aren't. Greece is independent. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it was conquered by the English. Remember that? Yeah. Like the, <laughs> doing... the Queen of Greece is Anglo-Saxon. That's hilarious. Also, yeah, Greece is pretty much the area you would, Hold on. You would think of as the Byzantine Empire. Okay, that's just another rebellion. It's pretty much Greece. So... Rome moves further to the east. It'd be great if somehow we were able to like just get uh, the Byzantines to keep moving further and further to the east, and to the point they are like bordering the western protector. Because yes, yeah, so they got they got kicked out of Rome. And they got kicked out of Constantinople. Now they're... Now they're in northern Turkey. In Armenia. If we can just somehow manage to, like, get them across the Caspian Sea. <laughs> this could be pretty funny. Alright, I'm still pillaging things, just waiting for stuff. I feel a new appreciation for Tagen Saru of Hindu Revolt. Let's see. And that is why I spread my elephants out like I did. Yeah. So you're a mastermind theologian, homosexual, oh, paradise, I guess I am. Gregor, gregarious, ambitious. Steve, Ace. just to be safe, we should, uh, okay. you want me to, would you mind ma uh, if I marry your daughter? Yeah, go right ahead. Alright, hold on a second. She's not doing anything important. <laughs> Not a half bad character. I mean, she's okay. Not bad. Uh, she's pretty good. She has 10 stewardship, 7 intrigue. Yeah. It's pretty good. Uh, I mean, 
Yeah, I don't think I like specifically schooled her or anything, so I mean it's pretty impressive that she just kinda of popped out like that. Uh, greedy, ambitious, brave, kind, just, indulgent, wasteful. Yeah, you really catch. Alright, thanks for dropping by Laurelian. Have a good night. Hope to see you again sometime. And every single one of these Hindus play shit. They, they come and they're like, try to sway me into an incredibly bizarre situation. All right, you're gonna take Vulstan and Sind, and I'll take Ensociana, Orsan, Vistan. Uh, the week's pastor Hindu court physician keeps talking about his religion. He's even claiming Shiva would, could grant you health and long life. Why does every dude know this? But it's a risk I'm willing to take. Praise Shiva. Should I? Is Shiva? That'd be a good thing to convert to for this character. Mm. Since I want to die. No, anyway. because you're caseless. Oh. Castless. Okay. Castless. Sorry. I can't. Zervan would strike me down. <clears throat> All right, but anyway, do we have an alliance? We should get an alliance. If we don't already. Hold on, can we do a blood oath? Uh, form a blood oath. Yeah, let's do that. We're chill. This area just expanded a little bit further to the north. Yeah. They're inching their way towards Norwegian. Um, Norwegia? Is that a place? Is Norwegia? I think I knew a girl named Norwegia one of these back in the day. Norwegia. Uh, where is this? Or Scandinavia, that's what I'm looking at. Norway. Uh, Norway? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Norwegia. Norwegia. That's a, oh, that's man. a joke from Todd in the Book of Pure Evil. Is it? Yeah, they're idiots, so they don't know that it's called Norway, not Norway. Yeah, I mistook Scandinavia for Norwegia. That's gonna go down. That's a... One of my my worst name switches. I don't know, you had you had some bad ones. I don't think we've don't ever pretend this is my arm. That's... Let's say this is my arm. <laughs> Pointing at my arm. <laughs> I I don't think we have a recording of uh, when we talked about danger pylons. No, we don't have a recording of that. <laughs> Back in well, high you school. Know, that's actually a very fitting name. Like I, it's not wrong. But it's hilarious. <laughs> it's also traffic not right. Cones. Traffic cones. That, that's a fitting name for traffic cones. Danger Taiwan. Yeah. <laughs> totally a fitting name. It sounds like you could convince someone that that's what they call them in Britain. Watch out for those danger pylons. Like, it's not a police lineup. It's an identity queue. It's not a traffic <laughs> cone. It's a... It's a danger, danger pylon. <laughs> it's not an elevator, it's a... It's a lift. Lift. It's not a flashlight, it's a torch. Yeah. Is that true? That one kind No, of... that's true. Yeah. It's confusing when... Uh, it's so, like if I, you ever... When I think of a torch, I really do think of, like, a... Fire, torch. like, on a stick. Like, yeah. a step fire on a stick. Like, I don't think of a flashlight. I mean, it makes sense that, that you call it a torch. It's, it's a natural progression. It's like, it's handheld light, though. So. Right. It's only confusing if you're, uh, if you are British and you are playing a D&D &D game in a medieval setting and you give the characters a magical flashlight. Because normally they would use a torch to light everything up, but then you give them right. a torch, which is a flashlight. That's pretty great. 
There's this flesh. What do you mean? Oh, I got painful cramps. Good. Oh, whoa. This is a big rebellion down south. In our country, or? No, in, uh, against, uh, Big Ra, Big Rapala, or something. I, Ayuda. Well, it ended quickly. James. Stubborn. Uh, oh, my doctor is actually good this time. He fixed my friends. Steve, why do you have a feud with me? <laughs> I don't know. That's a perfectly good question. Oh. And why... So when are we planning to uh, launch our invasion? When we're done with our infrastructure project? It should be about half a year. Okay. Because there or are a couple I things. Say, perhaps I should say our lack of infrastructure project. A defrastructure project. Defrastructure, yeah. Unfrastructure? Unfrastructure. <laughs> Just replace one letter. Like, haven't you heard? We're having another unfrastructure week. We have, like, the opposite of a great, great work program. In which we demolish great work. <laughs> yeah. Just call us early modern Spain. Yeah. I still think the funniest thing I saw at Alhambra was that there, like, the, the one thing that Ferdinand added, added to, to the place were a bunch of fucking columns with F on them for his name, for Fernando. <laughs> he just put F, like, just all over the fucking place. It's like you see all these beautiful, like, meticulously sculpted things, and then these tacky ass, like, columns with the word, with the letter F. Like, yeah, there's he had a no reason taste. he wasn't the head of state. He had no taste at all. <laughs> like, Isabel's contributions like, are, like, a lot better. Like, they're not great compared to the original. They all look a little bit out of place. But Ferdinand's, like, they're, like, humorously simple. Yeah, I mean, it's just the irony that you think he that like stamped F all over everything. He stamped his first letter of his name on everything. Yeah, it's like you think that someone that something hap that happened 500 years ago would have a degree of like awe to it. That you think like this is the thing they did was make cool buildings. Nah, just like put your first initial on some stuff. Yeah, like it really depends on the person. All right, a bunch of these getting done. All right, so Chugai is done. Kendale is done. Uh, Rajanpur is done, the one where you just fought yeah, those only, dudes. There's only three left. Yeah.
Burn, baby, burn. Grassland Inferno. I believe that's the opposite of what we actually. Yeah. We want there to be grass. We want grass. We just don't want the right word. We just want it only to be grass. They are in the grasslands. We see. We see anything except for grass, and we're like, this isn't right. This is heresy. This is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Looks at a tree. Not good. Nope. Can't have this. Well, trees are typically the last thing you want in grassland. Mm hmm Because if your grassland is just grass, then a fire isn't the end of it. It often actually makes the... It often actually fixes... Grass can grow back pretty fast. Trees burn, and they keep burning. So it's just walking around, you see a tree, and it's like, My horse can't eat this. My horse can't eat this. That's what we say to pretty much everything. Then they this shoot arrows at it. For my elephant. Like we see a like finely sculpted temple. They're like, nope. My horse can't eat this. <laughs> my horse can't eat this. <laughs> Why'd you build it? You know, like we wanted a temple, there, would you? Like, what the fuck do you mean? Don't you understand? My horse can't eat this. <laughs> that being said, we should try to get some horses into our dynasty. So that way, we can really be the horse lords. Yeah. Work on that. Why do you guys become crazy? Yeah, but what, we just need one of us to go insane. And we'll have some horses to start our... By the way, England still has a duchy in Anatolia. Wow. Really? Yeah. Oh, and guess who's back really? to being yes, Sunni? There. The Byzantines are back to being Sunni. Yeah, King of England. No, they're back to being Sunni, nice. It's all the same dynasty, too. Oh, wow, Germany, I don't think just, pretty good. Germany just fractured. Oh, again. Oh, that's not good. Gross. Strongest guy over there is Burgundy. Other than Lombard. The Lombards. Hey, Molly, how's it going? How you been? All right. Only like a couple. Just one more. No. Nah. Two more provinces. Oh. I'm the flu. Sweet. Time to die. Watch you become immor immortal. That'd be great. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be funny. And he wouldn't even get the achievement. So sad. I'm doing well, thanks for asking. Dun, 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 dun. I also like the Kingdom of Grants, which is just like surrounded by Kazaria. Yeah, because they used to be part of Kazaria, but split off. Yeah, but they're just sitting there now, like. I think of it from a player's perspective, that'd be such a horrible position. Like, you'd never pick that position start. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna die soon. I guarantee it. Cool. Blue. Good, good, good. Dress. Alright, it's February 1st. For both of these that are left, and then we can get it started. Okay. Nice, see, like... He gave me some warm metallic potion. My doctor. It's called Mercury. I hear it's good for absolutely nothing. Drink it. John, where's your army? 
they are flanking um that stuff up in uh eastern transoceana Starting the Hindu uprising. Hey, Steve, I'm going to obligate you. You must. Thank you. I'm still not at war, though. Moving my cavalry to one of your armies, and I'm gonna see if I can attach it. Okay, got one last one that will be done in July. You died? Yeah. Yep. Oh, dear. Current guy isn't much better. No, he's not that great, but he's not dull or eunuch. Okay, you now have control of all of my horse cavalry. Alright, uh, so this will give me the occupations? Yeah, it should. Okay. Alright, ready to start? Yep. Okay, how many guys does he have at the moment? 25k, I think we should be okay. Let's make sure that we have... Uh, uh, accept my offer, Steve, real quick. Okay, I'm gonna declare my war and start moving. Let's form a blood oath to be safe, because I don't want to get in this and... Alright, cool. Alright, I'm gonna attack now. All right, declaring. Invasion. Yep, uh, subjugation, correct? Invasion. In okay, hold on. Invasion of, I have to go by kingdom, right? Yeah. All right, I will go for, just to make the map look nicer, Transoceana. And you're going for Kashmir? I already declared I already declared for Sind. Okay. Attacking for Transoceana. Invasion of Transoceana. Alright, increase my fertility. It's a good one. Now where is my wife? Where is my wife? I don't know where my okay, wife I'm gonna is. Start moving my troops down to... Cool. Seven thousand two hundred fifty. Groovy. Be... Oh, there's a first oh, desync. We all went out of sync. I went out of sync twice as well. Okay. I'm gonna try closing tabs, see if that'll fix it next time. Yeah, close any tabs you don't need. Okay, make sure to save the game. I will. Just about to. Oh, you got the Byzantines, that's pretty good.
Whoa, whoa, whoa. Go back. How'd you get so many Dynasty members? <laughs> Well, hey, the King of the Franks was declared Emperor. Why not you? How's this? What's his ass on the server? Okay. Okay, so something interesting, I clicked on single player first by accident. Mm -hmm. I didn't have to restart the whole game. Hmm. Maybe they fixed that. I hope so, that'd be great. I hope yeah. that wasn't just like a fluke. It's a bug, not a feature. That'd be a shitty feature. Play our game. Alright, server's up. Gotta kill the Sada kids. You gotta be Sada kidding me. <laughs> yeah, I was up all night. Thinking of that one. So. As I was crushing the Inca, I was thinking about how much I like the Emperor's new. 
That was such a good movie. See any of the Kingdom Hearts footage yet? No. Need stuff, I For guess. All I know, the game's gonna be the game's gonna be delayed again. And I want to get my. Probably. That's the meme. I'm gonna get up to 97 tomorrow. Good thing I have an air conditioner. You're talking about Half-Life 3? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but hey, if Kingdom Hearts 3 is even half as good as Dream Drop Distance was, it'll be a great game. So how many mid quills were there total? I don't even know. Oh, let's see. Let's see. Five. Uh, probably. Let's see, coded. We're gonna count uh, the card games. Fifty-eight over two. The card game was between one and two, not two and three. Yeah, I mean that's still uh, a mid quill. Well, okay, okay, okay. If we're, if we're gonna go with between two and three, yeah, how many? So coded it, that came out. Over two. That was released after two. Birth by Sleep, which was really good. Dream Drop Distance, which was the best one in the series. Uh, they did a remake of the card game. Hmm. Uh, if you uh, count that, I'm at five. I think I'm forgetting one. Though. I feel like the remakes should count. Because that's kind of just one well, more game that everyone would have rather had three. If you want to be really depressed, yeah. Go, there's, there's a little C you can see right here in the game called the Errol C. Yeah. Oh, it's gone. Yep. It's, yeah, it's gone. If you type it in Google, it's fucking gone. It was like the Wikipedia article says. I've never seen this in, like, in, a uh, reference to a geographic location. It was. Yeah. Now it's no longer. Now it's just another bit of desert. Yeah. Alright, we're, uh, we're warring. Okay, I'm gonna start moving my troops down. Yeah, the thing is that the midquels were actually really good. Yeah, I'm not doubting that, but... Like, Birth by Sleep and especially Dream Drop Distance were much better than Birds and King of Hearts 2. And I'm not saying that to say that they weren't good games, like 1 and 2. They were really good. Mm-hmm. But it's... Dream Drop was one of... It was the best game in the series, like... They actually hid the entire plot of the game from right in front of your eyes from like the beginning. Mm -hmm. For like the character design. Like it's essentially like you're you're going back in time and you're on a quest to like find something that was lost when everything was like everything was being destroyed during the first game. Mm -hmm. And it's Essentially, your journey gets hijacked almost immediately. And they tell you this through the through the clothing that the two main characters are wearing. But if you aren't paying attention to that, you're, you aren't going to notice it. What I'm saying is just that there are so many games that were made. They made that it instead of two, instead of three. Yeah. Which is one that, no matter how good the mid quills were, that they weren't the game that everyone wanted. Well, three is supposed to be like the. It's like uh, supposed to be like the conclusion. All right. 
And it could always do another. Well, well, yeah, it's they're yeah. they're envision. I saw an interview with the guy where he envisions it as a series of story arcs, mm -hmm. and three is supposed to be the ending of the story arc that the game is the games have been entirely about. Okay, that makes sense, but that's very difficult to portray in a video game setting yeah. when it's like when this when it's one two and three you know uh-huh it's like if they had made it a series that if they never made it kingdom hearts 2 and just made it kingdom hearts something or other like they did with all the other ones mm -hmm. then it would have been a lot clearer but at the same time that's not the easiest way to sell a game it's like yeah. Uh, the Lord of the Rings was written as one big novel, but the publisher wanted it to be uh, a trilogy because that's how it's, it, it sells better that way. And also, it's pretty unwieldy yeah, if it is one Lord big of the book. Rings, one book would be a really big book. Yeah, but it was it was written as one novel. You can just stay in that province you're in right now, Steve, and just siege that down. Right now. What? Oh, you yeah, okay, that works, that works. That's fine, kind of my plan is to, uh... Oh, we're almost done, so I think all you have to do is win a battle. That'll probably be enough. We're already at 99%. Yeah, I'm not ending mine until you end yours, and I have... All of these last three provinces siege down. Okay. Yeah, and I'll, I'll, I won't end mine until I have everything in this kingdom as well. Alright, we do have 100%. So now we don't need any battles. Just siege down everything that's in Transoceana. I'll stay in this province. Now go to Emma. Where was original? Uh, I think that. Oh, 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 this is bad. What's up? Okay, never, never mind. It's, it's he's a mercenary. I'm gonna say my my heir is futile, but he's a merc he's a he's a mercenary leader. Okay, so that's on purpose. Yeah. I'll siege down Corsan as well, just to kind of be safe. Because I don't know which of these weird provinces. Wait, no, he's a host leader. Ooh, this could be bad if he wins. Oh, wow, yeah. I'm... okay. Okay. Yeah, it's the... it's that... event. Alright. Uh, save again, reload. Or do you want to... Dragon Amulet, though. Yeah, what? save and reload. Alright, and how much longer do you think you can go, Steve? Um... It's 91, probably about 30 minutes or so. Alright. So, I mean, just kind of doing that story in that way, really, it doesn't make it sound like... And the way that they were numbered, at least, was not in a way of making, yeah. like, arcs like it was in a manga or an anime. Which, that, that makes perfect sense, that he'd do it like yeah, that, that, in the way that the story is done, in the style. Because uh, it really makes it seem like everything else is totally irrelevant. Which, that may be... Uh, well, not, not totally irrelevant. at all. Parse partially? I mean, yeah, yeah, I mean, I agree. It makes it seem like they aren't as important, but the truth is those mid-quills are more important than the first two games. Yeah. Because, you know, that that's like how a manga is structured. 
Like you're introduced to the conflict and then they tell you what's actually going on in sort of digressions. Yeah. Because it's... It's uh, got four more... More... Contiguous. That makes sense. Like, what would be a good word for... Um... It's, it's an ongoing story that isn't easily made episodic. Yeah. One thing I do wonder is if they'd finished all of the voiceovers for Leonard Nimoy. Hmm. Uh, who'd he play? He was the villain. Ah. Like, the actual villain. Dang. So it's... It's, as you find out in, like, the mid-quills, the plan... The plan of this guy is incredibly complicated and involves essentially splitting his consciousness up into individual beings that all carry out their own like specific part of his plan that's very anime yeah yeah it is <laughs> it is and leonard leonard nimoy is the is the original the one who puts all of this in place all right I'm in the game. The server's up. Just, yeah, I'm just uh waiting for it to be ready. It's like I mean, just uh, so a common opinion that I hear about Kingdom Hearts is that it's like don't play the second one; it's too confusing, or that you have to play all these midquills that no one, that just from the outside looking in, look irrelevant. Except for this backstory that it almost just seems like they're trying to milk money out of you. And they could just release one, two, three. It's that's not the case because it's like actually the most brilliant thing that the Midquills did, which I actually didn't realize until I played Dream Drop, is that there so there's there's a lot of when you play two, it seems like there's a lot of just huge gaping plot holes. Mm-hmm. But the point of the midquills is they aren't. Like, it's purposely constructed like that, so you should be picking up on these things because things shouldn't be shouldn't be adding up and shouldn't be making sense. These plans shouldn't sound like they would work because they don't. They were never intended to. They're not actually trying to accomplish what they say they are because you are at any given point you're only interacting with a fragment of the consciousness that created this and they're using various various stories and various lies and misdirection to get other people to carry out their goals for them which essentially they're they're con men and if you step back and actually think about what's going on you'll find the hole in the logic you'll find what points that they're alive but they try they try they try to minimize that and make it all seem like it's about something it's not like the point of dream drop was essentially like the main characters finally meet the original and it's he just flat out says oh yeah all of that was bullshit hmm. because it's like so like, two, the thing is, like, it's kind of seems like there's, like, there's a dis there's an inconsistency with the nobodies. They supposedly don't have a heart and are incapable of feeling. And some of the more problematic characters on your side use that to justify killing them. But just looking at how they interact, it should be incredibly obvious that these that these people are in fact people and do have a full range of emotion and feelings. Gotcha. But they don't know that because they've been believed into thinking that they are incomplete. By someone who is 
manipulated everything to make it seem as if they are, and encourage you to think that, because that enables you to kill them off when he no longer needs them. Okay. God damn it! <laughs> Where's that event again? Yeah. Alright, so what do you want to do? Let's try uh, one more time. Alright, not even gonna bother saving. Might actually want to save just so that just at that. Yeah, save the so. Oh, again. too late. God damn it. But it's. Yeah, you kind of. If you're playing Kingdom Hearts, you definitely should play the mid because they are, in fact, important. Hmm. And they're good games. It's not like they're... They aren't trying to milk money out of you. Well, code it is. But... The point is that it's... The story is told very anime or manga style, but it wasn't presented like that. So it's... Yeah. It's a pretty unclear... I'm, I'm trying to think of any other kind of video game that does it like that, and I nothing's coming to mind. I mean, I'm not no, that not one. I'm not that deep in the the JRPG scene, so like normally those kinds of JRPGs that go on forever, are like Final Fantasy, where only maybe two of them are in the same world, and even if they are, they're pretty irrelevant to each other. Yeah, seven and three. Seven I mean, and not, ten. Sorry, seven and ten. Seven and ten, that's what I meant. <laughs> like, I think Final Fantasy fourteen is in the same world as eleven. Uh well, and, I haven't played either. No of no those no. Two uh, 14, and probably never going to. Fourteen is in the same world of twelve. Uh eleven is in the same world as like the Crystal Chronicles games. Which is more like an I'm, action RPG thing. I don't know if they ever... If they ever clarified whether or not 15 and 13 are in the same world. Because originally they were supposed planned. To be. Yeah. But it's like the massive failure of 13 kind of... It tanked that. And then 15 yeah. was... Or like people would argue that it's the best one. I haven't finished it, but it was really good. Mm -hmm. It just takes a long time to play. Yeah. It's like the Tales of Symphonia games uh, are entirely different from each other. I don't know if there's one, like uh, if there are any two that are in the same world. They're just similar kinds of gameplay. Well, that makes it a whole lot less confusing than Final Fantasy 1 through 14, two of which are MMOs. Which annoys me. <laughs> I heard 14 was pretty good. Yeah, everyone raves about that one. Alright, the server's up. Yeah, I saw it. I don't know what the East series is like, like the, you know, YS, have you ever seen that? No. Uh, I know it's a JRPG of some sort, and there are a lot of them. Like, the first two were on sale a while ago, I don't think there's any sort of continuity between any of them. Um... Hmm. Valkyrie Chronicles? No, Valkyrie Chronicles is the, is the tactics RPG. I'm thinking of... Something else. What was that other one? Ready up, Steve? Yeah, I said uh, get rid of the uh, Steam pop up that was covering the ready button.
And you could probably assault that holding there, Steve, once you can. Let's see. Just press the C key when you're on the siege. I already took it. Oh, no. It's still... They have 1,300 troops. I have 6,000. Uh, it says there are only 600 uh, guys defending. Well, oh, hold on, hold on. Actually, oh, jeez. Ah, damn it. Oh, wait. Uh, stop, stop sieging it. Stop sieging it. Go back to... Because uh, you're not... Uh, I don't know if I'm going to get the land because you're occupying it. I think you will. Okay. But, yeah, because I'm, I'm part I of your war. Doing, I think... I think you... I think he w you will, John, but I haven't been doing it because I want to be... Okay, might as well find out. I think you will, because I'm party to your conflict, as opposed to... You should being... be. Yeah. Actually, in that case, you know, to be safe, I should probably end my war first. The GoPro, bro. How you been, man? Um, trying to ransom me. Hold on. Do I, oh, did no. I try to ransom you, someone? Yeah. Or oh, I just clicked the ransom wall. I guess I had some. Oh, one of your family members. Um. No. She's who's a kid. She's not really worth it. If you want to let her go, you can. I'm probably- I'm gonna- prob Who is she? I don't even know. She's probably from my court somehow. Yeah, I'm just hitting the button so you can deny it every time. Okay. I will deny it every time. Oop, hold on, I gotta kill these guys. Yeah, before I end my war, I just wanted to get all these guys out. Alright. See, what's the name? Sariska? This is the kid. Yeah, I'll let her go. Cool. Yo, I got the Le I got the Leong sculpture. Sculpture. Hey, and a Jewish guy. You actually got check to see if you actually got it because I got the dragon ass, but I didn't get. It. Hold on a moment. All right, Leong script sculpture. Uh, yeah, I got it. Lucky, I didn't get my dragon amulets. Okay, I'm gonna end my war. Oh, Steve's lagging. Lagging? Yep. I don't have anything running in the background. So. Yeah, I'm sent. I sent the thing through for my war, and then if it. Oh no, you're still that one. What? You don't even need me. No, I don't think we do. I was gonna say if that drops you down, I'll join. I'll join as a party to your, and I'll help you out. But looks like you're pretty good. Um, so yeah, I mean the guys I'm playing with are just friends of mine. We start off with a lot of land, but I mean we've been cooperative this whole time. Well, sort of. Which, yeah, we should have been. With, with a... With, with some... A few minor brain hiccups on everyone's part. Mostly Steve's. Yeah. 
Steve's about like five times, me and Chris once respectively. Yeah, there were a lot of pops. Yeah, I got a bunch of things for you to revoke. No problem. Let's just finish I these just... off. Okay, so this whole area is pretty much under our control now. Uh, I think some things in the middle won't be, because it's not part of the CB. But I just no, want to make... That you have, anything that you have... Anything. ...will transfer to you. Directly to you. Even if, if it, it is... is part of, if it is outside of the warble. Even, even if it is. Outside the warble. Yes. If, if it's inside. If it's... Okay, so... No matter where it is in relation to the warble, if you have sieged it, it will transfer to you directly. All right. I... Ev if you siege the first holding in every county, mm -hmm. then only that... Only the capital holding of that county goes to you. All right, then. I'm sieging everything that I can. I can still keep going for a bit. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna do the same. I'm moving my elephants back to cover any revolts that land I took might incur, so you don't have to do anything. Also, All right. don't forget about Pamir up in the north. You're gonna have like a little Iowa one that's hotter. Yeah, you're gonna take that little, uh, just take that Kashmir dot one of these days. I mean, that's I that, that's Chris. And take it in a minute, that's but, Chris's uh, territory, Chris so I don't want to it. take it. Oh, I didn't realize that that was part of Kashmir. Damn. Otherwise, yeah. I would have. Yeah, I mean, just I leave it. I could take it, burn it, and just give it to you. Yeah. I'd rather just do it myself. Okay. No offense, like I, it's not that I don't trust you. It's just I'd rather do it myself. Mhm. Mm I'm going to Nishapur right now. All right, but you are pretty sure that the stuff that oh, Siege that Steve has occupied is going to be mine, right? I'm pretty sure. Like I said, I originally held back because I wasn't percent sure. Okay. And I wanted to be safe. But I am pretty sure. Because it'd be weird, and you, we'd probably see really even messier maps if it was like that. Yeah. Because then it could just be one dude has a thing over and over. Like, I mean, just has this one thing. There's this little island down here of Sistan. Yeah. I'm gonna siege the- I'm gonna siege the province down for you. Okay, I mean, but... Are you in the war? You're in my war? You're not in my not, war. Not, not officially. Okay. Anything I siege will count towards you because we're part of the same realm. Alright. So you're just gonna take it for the money? Pretty much. I just got 50 military tech. Nice. And uh, Jewish courtiers are really good when you're nomadic. All right. Let's see if I could grab Tehran. Oh yeah, Tehran would be a good capital. Oh yeah. I'd say go for Eshafan, but that's mountain, not desert. Yeah. Yo. I think I found the capital you want. Which one? The Saudi kids don't have it. The Azafids do, but it's Quazwin. Where's that? Uh, it's right ab above Al Habaria, next to Dalyam. Uh, where's yeah, the uh... duchy? 
Oh, a duchy. It's, it's, it's right south of the Caspian Sea. A little green. Kermanshaw, I think. The map looks really weird. Uh, Kazwin, you said? Yeah. Q A W. No, Q A Z W I N. The lands are? All right, so yeah, a, you can't, a desert you trade can't post. In, yeah, you can't take it in this war, but for your next war, keep that in mind. Okay. I mean, uh, there is a desert that is a trade post. Hold on. Should that? I, I mean, Merv works as well. That is a trade post. Oh, cool. And it's desert? Yeah. You already have it? Uh, yeah, I have it occupied. And I looted it. Yeah, the music in this game is fantastic. Oh yeah, that should definitely be your capital, dude. Merv? Yeah. What the hell? Who's sieging my... Sieging what? Alright, so these idiots are over here sieging my stuff back. Uh, I'll go... I'll move some people to fight them. Being annoying. See if I can intercept them. Yeah, you just keep sieging stuff down, Steve, and I'm gonna kill these guys. Make sure I'll just get this yeah, stuff I'm back. On it. Oh, I'm in jail! How'd you go to prison? I don't know. What, what just oh. happened? You're not in prison. Oh, no, no. Never mind. That, that's the guy is in sieging. I mean, I wasn't paying attention. Clearly. Well, I'm glad I'm not in jail. Glad he oh, the four, the fourteen stack. Most of them are my troops. I don't care. If... Yeah, they're just a bunch of old, like, cavalry ahead lying around John to buffer his troops. Okay. Yeah, and don't worry, my elephants are coming to back you up. Alright, I mean, it's really just an annoyance. These guys, not really a threat. I didn't even get there. Up. Oh. Well, they walked into the elephants. Nice. That's generally a bad idea. Yeah, so they're reduced to 2,500 men. Very nice. Don't mess with the Ugers. I'd like to, I mean, just get some... Oh, man, I could take Sistan, too. Like, I would like to make the borders, like, a whole lot nicer. I mean, but the more I take, the more rebellions we're gonna get. 
And that's just gonna make it more annoying. My wife died. Dang. Got any more daughters, Steve? Uh, I know. <laughs> Not I right one. now. I definitely don't. This character has only been at the filming he's done has been at war. Uh, alright, hold on. Do I want to just... I've got one, but she's a lunatic, so... Hmm. I want to call it here. It's up to you. I prefer to finish the war. Yeah, I mean, as long as not gonna. No, no, he means he wants. Does he want to call the war? Oh, okay. I would at least take the county of Tiz to make our border look nicer. Yeah. I'm gonna. I'll take. I'll finish up the Duchy of Corson, and let's just take all of. Hamadan and Jabil, that single province duchy. And, uh, we'll fin let's just take Kerman and Sistan for the sake of it. Okay. Alright. Okay, maybe we should just quit. Okay. Apparently, I think that was me then. Something. Yeah, and the next game will... The, the event, oh, the event fired for you? I don't know, I mean, I desynced. Yeah. Oh, wait, well, then we'll... Alright. Yeah, we'll finish up the war next time. I guess it'll start with us gaining a huge part of... Hattica. Yeah, we'll finish it off. Um, I mean, do you want to keep going, or are you... I'd, I'd like to keep going. I wouldn't mind to keep going, but I'm getting pretty tired. I'd be probably 20 minutes max. Mm. It's up to you guys. I mean, I'm, I'm just probably going to want to sleep. I mean, it takes time to reload it and stuff, and that's kind of annoying. It's only like... It's only yeah, it doesn't take too long, long anymore now that this yeah. computer isn't... Alright, uh, we'll, we'll try one more time to finish up the war. And, uh, we'll get back to it. Yeah, for anyone watching who's confused of what's going on, it's, there's a, this one siege event that fires for And we're pretty sure because of how corrupt the file is that it's taking a huge hit on the stability of the game every time it fires. So there's a good chance when it fires and we can't, have it not fire because it's something that fires for nomadic army. One of us will desync. I should keep it at the taking a break screen. It's a little less confusing than the loading one. So, John, what's your opinion on making trade companies in I think it's generally a better idea to make them. I think they give you, like, uh, they probably don't give you too many troops. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Uh, certainly in Africa, they wouldn't give you too many troops, too much, uh, too many, too much tax. I think the, the production and the trade power is worth it. Okay. Especially if it's a competitive region. 
I haven't seen the numbers like side by side. Uh, like at, at the optimal situation. Mm -hmm. So I'm yeah, not. I just figured out how to make them earlier. All right. I made one in the Philippines and I'm I made two in Africa. Mm -hmm. And I think I might have made one in Indonesia too, but that one's got like I only have like one province, in Indonesia. Yeah. Oh, there's a big rebellion in Western Kazaria. Oh. Is the server up? Yeah. It's not showing I up. See it. I mean, it's Are there. Sure oh, there it is. It, in... it just showed up for me, Steve. Try again. Yeah, I see it now. Here we go. So there's a revolt for that li uh, that little nubbin that's kind of perforating your western border there, Steve. If you want to declare war for that, that'd be a good idea. The what? Yeah, I mean, just look at your western border. Oh, I can't see it yet, but uh... Oh, I think I see what you're talking about. Yeah, that rebellion? Yeah, that'd be probably for the next... Uh... Next session? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I might go and do that. Is bam. German bam. Sturgeon bam. Christian bam. Dahidam bam. Got all of the province of bam, huh? Okay, give me a second. I kind of got tangled up. Okay. Once you're ready, Steve. Okay. Alright, let's finish up this war. Or the next time it crashes. Just, yeah, we'll see. Do we have any more places we want to take? Uh, a couple. Uh, you done up there? I think so. Let me see. And maybe just work on Corsan. And Kerman. Okay, so basically, I have I have finished off this place, but I'll move to what afterwards. Uh, go to Loot. It's the one that's yeah. just kind of south Loot. and east. That's what I meant by what. Yeah, it's probably pronounced a lot. I don't know. I have no idea what it's pronounced. Well, I'm not gonna claim to have the high ground, but Loot sounds better than what though. Or it sounds, when I say better, I mean, like, to me, that sounds maybe more correct. I don't know. No clue whatsoever. Anybody in the comments who can... I don't think too many people watching this stream are fluent in, in Farsi or anything. Yeah, I mean, maybe, though. But, but I mean, I've... I know I'm not. I'm not fluent. Uh, there was a girl a while <laughs> ago that was, uh, Kurdish. So, a general sort of language group. 
It's pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, uh... Yeah. My pronunciations of anything here should be taken as ignorance. <laughs> I think that pretty much goes for all of us. So if you're watching and you, uh... Here's some particularly terrible pronunciations of places. Ignorance yeah, more than... I only speak English, so... I can order a beer and do that. And I can... I can direct myself to the hospital. If necessary. By yelling out, hospital! Alternatively, just yell anything. Yeah, just start yelling in the street. That'll usually get <laughs> yelling you some the sort of just a wretched something, some kind of police or ambulance uh, will show up. Just blood curdling screams. It's the universal language. Also, you've got some troops up north. I know. Just you can just uh, it'll looters. open your siege. Are they looters? Ooh. Sadek has just, uh, got a rebellion. Oh, wow. Okay, so we just lost a lot of those occupations. Whatever. That's fine. We can always get those later. Want to speed this up a tinge? I'm surprised that the uh, rebellions erased our occupation. But... All right, uh, head down to kind of that duchy that includes the the Strait of Tebris. Where? You know where the Strait of Tebris is, right? Not top of my head, I think I know. It's, you know, the, the strait in the Persian Gulf. That duchy in which that resides. Kerman. Let me see. The, uh, Hormuz. Yeah, I see. Hormuz. I don't remember. I might have been saying the wrong name. Uh, what was Tebris? Is there know, a strait of Tebris? Or is that... Hormuz, I think, was the straight. Yeah, Hormuz is the... That's, that was my bad. Right, actually, let's kill this guy. This uh, head of the province directly east of you. Uh, I got you. I can take that army. And then we'll head to the one east of that guy. Chase down their armies. Troops left that area that we the rebellion. Yeah, it's like yeah, okay, I... there's a rebellion here. Let's give it to him, guys. Oh, no, no, no awkwardness. No, oh, yeah, I mean that, we don't oh, want to be rude. Sorry, you have a rebellion now. Can you just imagine that it's like <laughs> imagine an army shows up and it's like we are laying siege upon your castle to return it to our power, and it's like how about you, knave? Like, hold on, I got a better idea. I just We're a rebellion like a... against the the guy who previously owned this castle. Uh, could we have it back? Okay, I sure. Just, um, yeah. I 
I just imagine like a stuffy English like journal like being like Ah That's rebellion I see. Alright, we're done. Well then Yeah, I it's I, I feel like it's when that you? event fires sometimes, but only occasionally. It doesn't always happen, but for some reason. Yeah. I mean we're just about done, so yeah, there's the war. a couple different variations of that event, so one of them doing That's weird. Like a very specific kind of that specific kind of event. Alright, well, that'll be it for this time then. Alright, I'll cut the stream here. Until next time, thank you guys very much for joining me. Rock over London, rock on Chicago. I am Cyrock Omega, and have a nice day. Later.